Hey everybody, I'm Brian Clark with the Yankees, and I am here with the newest member of the New York Yankees. It is Garrett Cole. Garrett, congratulations. How exciting is all this? It's unbelievable. It's uh, hard to imagine, hard to put into words. It's been a whirlwind of the last week, and I've just trying to be enjoying as much as I can. When this whole free agent process began, how much of a thought was it that you could end up here? I mean, it was real. You know, my wife and I have been in the league for a little while now, and um, the thought of being able to make your own choice, or at least possibly be presenting with the opportunity to make your own choice, was something that we were really excited about and then felt very fortunate to be in that position. So we wanted to be as thorough as possible, and, and certainly whoever was interested could come in and have a meeting, and thankfully the Yankees came in aggressively. So aggressively because they brought Andy Pettit as part of their group. What did he have to say to you during that meeting? I mean, you know, he was just really calm, easygoing, you know, kind of like he always is. He was really just informative about his time here, uh, especially the difference between playing in Houston and playing in New York. And then also some of the challenges and the ups and downs that he went through. And then some of the things that he thought that the New York Yankees did better than everybody else. And it was just a pleasure to get to meet him. I think anybody that knows Andy uh, would feel the same way. Now your Yankee fandom growing up is well documented. Was he one of your favorites? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's the most winningest pitcher in postseason history. How can you not love him? Now we saw evidence of that Yankee fandom. Of course, the picture of you holding up the sign, the 2001 yeah. World Series, you brought the sign to the press conference. Do those memories make this milestone now more special? Yeah, how can they not? Um, it's like come full circle, right? I just, I was, I was a little surprised that my mom still had the sign. It has obviously faded over the years. It's uh, 18 years old at this point, you know, but I just thought it was special. I, I grew up just like many young Yankees fans wanting to be a major league pitcher and, and the dream is to be right a starting pitcher on, on the New York Yankees. And so here I am living my dream and um, I'm just super thankful and, and super blessed. You've been a major league pitcher for this will be your eighth season. How much have you grown as a pitcher from your rookie year back in 2013 to now your first year with the Yankees? A lot. Up? I mean, there's a lot of different variables that go into a season, right? I mean, you're trying to keep healthy um, from a physical standpoint and from a mental standpoint. You're also trying to improve uh, in terms of, you know, your repertoire, your game planning. Um, you're always tinkering, you know, with your routine, trying to make it more efficient. Um, this game rewards durability, um, and as a starting pitcher, your job is to go deep into the game and balance out the workload between the bullpen and the starting rotation to eat up the, ultimately the innings that are going to need to be thrown. And so you take those things seriously. So, you know, I've learned how to play the game better. I've learned how to manage myself better. I learned how to communicate better. Um, I've seen really great clubhouses. I've seen clubhouses that maybe don't function at an optimal level. So I have a lot of experience that I've brought and I'm here in a, in a situation now where I have a lot of other players that have a lot of experience and I'm looking forward to just kind of continue the same processes that I've, I've kind of developed over the years and, and always looking to learn and always looking to get better. Now, as you've grown over the years, the game has certainly changed, and I think a good example of that is your new pitching coach here in Matt Blake. It'll be his first year with the Yankees. How excited are you to work with somebody else who's new to the Bronx and Matt Blake? Matt was pretty impressive in the meeting that we had when I first got to know him. I mean, I've known a couple of pitchers that have come through the Cleveland system, and I think any starting pitcher, any pitcher really for that matter in the league has probably admired Cleveland from afar. I mean, they're a really unique organization, I think, in the sense that over the last 10 years, they haven't signed a free agent pitcher, starting pitcher. They've either traded for a starting pitcher and developed them through their system, or they've drafted a pitcher and developed them through their system. You know, Matt Blake is there looking from the inside out, working with Tito, working with a lot of these pitchers firsthand, Clevenger, Bieber, a lot of these guys that have been able to find some continuity in their delivery and some consistency. So I think he brings a, a, a really cool toolbox to the, to the mix. You know, it's always great when you can have somebody that can articulate the analytics um, because the analytics are helpful. He's probably looking for Forward to working with, you know, obviously a lot of really great pitchers that we have on this staff and maybe trying to view the game, you know, through, through more of the players, coaches lens than maybe he has from the front office analytic, analytics component. So if I think we mesh those two things together, we're going to have a really successful staff. Now we know here in the Bronx, success is about what gets done in October. You've authored a pretty nice uh, postseason career yourself. How have those experiences helped you prepare to take on the challenge of winning here in the Bronx? Yeah, well, I mean, let's be real. I haven't pitched for the Yankees yet, but I've pitched against them certainly, and I have pitched in some other other big games. And 
you know, I'm going to take the experiences that I've had and the processes that I've developed uh, in order to be successful in those situations and apply them the best I can here. I'm not saying it's going to go perfect every time. I don't think everybody expects that, but, you know, that's part of the challenge, right? If something doesn't go your way, how are you going to respond uh, and how are you going to move forward from it? I've learned some things over the years that I think have been helpful, that I hold close to my pocket, you know, that, that, that I think may be successful. And one of those things is knowing that you don't have it figured out, right? That you're always trying to be forward thinking and you're always trying to get better I'll, I'll just keep I'll just keep kind of hammering that process out and always trying to evolve and just you know trying to stay one step ahead of our opponents you faced the Yankees of course in the playoffs last year and of course in the regular season what are your observations about this team that you're joining from what you've seen on the other side <clears throat> well an extremely talented team uh, a team that embodies um, a lot of the Yankees brand obviously and a team that has a lot of grit um, you know, the next man up mentality uh, was on full display last year and the second best record in the American League. And a lot of people were injured. So, you know, it takes a really collective effort to push the team over 100 wins just in general, regardless if everybody's healthy. And I think it maybe takes a special circumstance where, you know, you have a lot of breaks that aren't going your way and you're still able to produce. So I'm excited, you know, to join a group that, that has those characteristics and, and just try to add, you know, the, the best I can at what, what, whatever I bring. Um, and I hope everybody's resting up and, and we're healthy next year because the, I guess the floor is, is, is pretty high based on, based on how they've performed over the last two seasons. You were a Yankees fan, so you know the passion that exists in this fan base. What is your message going into 2020 as a member of this team? to the Yankees fans? I mean, we're here to win a world championship. Um, I personally became within eight outs of it uh, last year, and you know, I'm as hungry as ever. Brian Cashman started off the meeting in California with, well, uh, Garrett, we haven't won a championship in the last 10 years, and, and we're, we're awfully hungry. And, and I shared my thoughts on my personal experience losing the World Series last year. And so we matched up really well in that sense, both looking forward to making a deep run into postseason and ultimately bringing home the title back to New York. Garrett, congratulations and welcome. Yeah, thank you very much for your time.